Old Fashioned Little Girl Old Fashioned Little Girl in the frame over the fireplace had played in the room a long, long time ago. But never until this night had she done more than look out from her frame. All the toys were glad when the big logs did not burn away and were left in the fireplace at night. The coals made the room bright and warm, and when the magic hour struck, they would gather around the fireplace and have a jolly time. But one night, when the clock struck the last stroke of twelve, before any of the toys could move or speak, out from her frame, on the wall, loomed the old-fashioned little girl. I must tell you what she wore. On her head was a poke bonnet of yellow straw, trimmed with rosebuds and leaves at the side, where long pink ribbons were fastened, which tied under her little chin. And on the top were two loops of the ribbon. She wore a black velvet jacket over a flowered skirt which stood out all around and was caught up on the sides with tiny black velvet bows. Her lace petticoat peeped from under the flowered skirt, and below that the bottom of her point-trimmed pantaloons. She wore white stockings and little black slippers, and these were fastened on with black elastic crossed at her ankles. While all this was very interesting and pretty, it was the face that looked out from the poke bonnet that made you look again. The cheeks were like two roses, and little black curls clustered about her sweet face. Two big black eyes looked straight at you, and a little rosebud mouth seemed to smile, ready to speak. And on this night, when the clock struck the last stroke. That was just what that pretty little mouth did. It spoke. Where are all my old friends? It asked. And then out from the frame stepped the old-fashioned little girl. On the edge of the frame she placed one little slippered foot her little hands holding on to the sides of the frame. Then out came the other foot, and this she placed on the shelf. And there she stood, looking all around the playroom. Where are all my old friends? Again she asked. Beautiful French doll, dressed in the latest style, replied. I don't believe they are here. Unless it is Teddy Bear, he has been here longer than any of us. Teddy Bear? The little girl replied. I never heard of him. It was Nina, a big rag doll, and Lydia, a wax doll, who were my friends in the old days. And, oh yes, there was a dear little china doll with black hair and blue eyes named Betty. Oh, I do wish I could find them. Then all the toys held their breath, and right off of the big shelf jumped the little girl, landing on the floor on her feet, safe and sound. Oh, 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 gasped all the toys. Oh, that is nothing, laughed the little girl, smoothing her flowered dress. I have done that before. You can jump from high places and not be hurt a bit if you know how. Oh, what a funny dress you have on, said the little girl to beautiful French doll. And don't you ever go to sleep? My wax doll used to shut her eyes. She was the latest thing in dolls when I lived here. 
I am the very latest style doll, explained French doll. And all the newest ones are like me. Well, I'd rather have my Lydia doll, replied the little girl. Now, I wonder where she can be. Old-fashioned little girl looked all around the room again. Is this a toy shop? she asked. I thought from my frame it was the room I used to play in. But it cannot be, for none of these toys are mine, and I only had a few in the corner of the room. Oh, no, this is a playroom, explained Teddy Bear, who thought he had kept in the background quite long enough. You see, a little girl lives in this house, and this is her playroom. And these are all her toys? asked the little girl. And when Teddy Bear told her yes, she said, She must be a very happy little girl with all these wonderful toys. I suppose she never cries or gets lonesome. Oh, yes, she does, cried all the toys in chorus. She thinks she hasn't enough and wants new toys all the time. You don't say so, replied the little girl with a look of wonderment on her pretty face. If I had had half of these beautiful things to play with, when I lived in this house, I am sure I never would have been lonely. Oh, look at that poor dolly under the table and poor Baba sheep with one leg broken. I must take care of them at once. Old fashioned little girl picked up the abused toys and seating herself in a rocking chair she began to sing. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock in soft, sweet tones. And the first thing she knew, all the toys were gathered about her listening. If you cannot find Nina and Lydia and Betty, why don't you play with us? asked beautiful French doll. We never have anyone to sing to us and rock us and play house. You don't? exclaimed little girl. How does the little girl play that lives here if she does not play that way? Oh, she plays go to parties and have teas and go riding in the park, said French doll. I guess she does not know how to play the way you do. We will begin right now and play the way I used to, said little girl. You are all my children and I shall hold all the dolls. And the big ones must sit on the floor around the fireplace and listen to the story I shall tell. So all the little dolls climbed into her lap and the big ones sat on the floor and Teddy Bear and Baba Sheep and Willie Dog and Calico Cat and everyone and everything got as close as it could to old fashioned little girl and listened while she told a long and wonderful story. All at once. A ray of daylight peeped under the curtain, and everybody jumped. Little girl ran to the closet and opened the door. The stepladder, where is it? She cried in great distress. And then she ran to the fireplace and looked at the empty furnace. But it was no use. She could not get up there. For more daylight came into the playroom and ended the magic power which gave those who lived there. When the little girl who lived in the house ran into the playroom that morning, 
she stopped at the door and looked. Then she called to her mother, for there on the floor, surrounded by all the toys, was old-fashioned little girl, flat on her face. Oh, great Aunt Abby fell out of her frame, explained the mother, picking up the broken glass that covered the picture. I must have a new glass fitted and the picture put back in the frame. That night, when the clock struck twelve, all the toys looked at the empty place on the wall, and they all said they hoped the man who fixed the frame would not fasten old-fashioned little girl in it so firmly that she could not get out at night when the magic hour struck. For, said French doll, I like the old-fashioned way of playing better than the new. And all the toys said they did too.